Today, I'll tell you a story. A tale about a creature in Valheim so rare, most people haven't seen it yet and probably never will. A legendary tale which started in the latest patch notes and now mainly resides on Reddit, where people speculate but mostly doubt about its very existence, as of right now, even a week after the Mistlands release, there is still zero evidence of it. No screenshots, videos or any proof shared, except for the fact that we've seen it in the patch notes. What if I told you that the legends were true and I managed to find this very creature? Today I'll tell you my story about the Tetra fish, the rarest creature in the game, so let's get right to it. Before we get started, it took me days to get a footage for this video and then many more hours to edit it, so it would be very much appreciated if you can hit that like button at the end of the video if you enjoyed watching this one and of course also share your thoughts in the comments down below. Cheers! Before you go ahead of yourself and start hunting Tetra on your world right off the bat, I want to warn you that these bad boys don't show up that easily. On the contrary, your world might not be Tetra worthy and yes, they are this rare that they sometimes don't even show up on a certain seat. Tetra fish caves might even be more rare than maples and for your information, maples are these bad boys which randomly pop up on a seed. Most of the times zero can be found, sometimes one, but out of 10 different seeds I managed to find 4 maples, so that's less than 50% chance for these to spawn. They basically give you extra happiness when you rest near them, so they're a great find, but what about the frost caves? So let me just explain for a second. As of right now, we have nine different biomes in Valheim. The meadows, black forest, swamp, mountains, plains, the mistlands, which recently got added, the deep north, ashlands, which are both unfinished, and then also the majority of every world, the ocean. Out of all these biomes, only one can contain tetra fish, and that is the mountains biome. And the funny thing is, in mountains, you won't really find lakes or rivers but they actually spawn inside ice caves. And there are quite a lot of ice caves in every single seat, an average of 100 to 120 per world. But the problem is the conditions for tetra fish to pop up in caves have to be perfect and these are so slim. You will probably get frustrated if you're gonna look for them the legit way. Right before I started my hunt for the tetra fish, I went on a quest to find the perfect seat for Valheim, which contains all the different biomes, the finished ones, the meadows, black forest, swamp, mountains, plains and mistlands for the ultimate base building, the farm building, so you basically have everything you need on a small island, which I'm gonna make a video for tomorrow, but on this very seed I also decided to go on an adventure and search for the Tetra Caves, which was a lot more difficult than expected. We cleared about 20 ice caves and we found absolutely nothing that indicates fishing is possible in caves. I also started to become a little bit doubtful about Tetra fish. I was thinking like, hmm, this is maybe something comparable to Herobrine in Minecraft. So I tried to do a little bit of digging on the internet, but there is not much to find as there is zero evidence of the Tetra actually existing. Some people claim to have seen water caves before the Mistlands update, but can't find the seats anymore. And then there are also people who claim to have seen a frozen lake inside caves where you can also pick up a fishing rod which we haven't encountered after those 20 cave clears. So I decided to do a little bit of flying on a single player, just check out the exact same seed which we're using on the server right now. So with the help of some real life friends who also play on the server, do fishing in real life, we decided to go on an adventure and check out this very seed, every single one of us on single player with commands, so we could cover as much ground as possible. And together we checked over 75 different caves until we finally found one of them with a frozen lake inside. And this was groundbreaking as we didn't stumble upon one earlier. So this cave system basically leads you with a spiral staircase all the way down into a huge room basically, where you will find a frost giant sitting right next to a frozen lake. But on the other side, we found a runestone which you can interact with and it will tell a story about a fisherman who got trapped in this area, caught as much fish as possible and he in the end of course died as we've got a skeleton on the floor, but then also a fishing rod. So this is an indication that it is possible to fish on caves, but nothing confirmed. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't find fish in here, but at the same time I was super hyped. I was like, bro, 
this is actually a fairy tale coming to life. It's starting to become real right now. So instead of being demotivated, I was super hyped to continue the search. And, and I just wanted to share evidence with the rest of the community as there is nothing yet on the interwebs. So we decided to continue hunting for the cave and it didn't take that much longer actually. I think five to 10 caves after finding this one before we found a very nice mountain biome with six more frost caves. And one of them, ladies and gentlemen, was boom, liquid water. This was a pretty small cave system. And at a certain point, we just found a spiraling staircase going all the way down into a huge area, just like the frozen lake frost cave, let's say. This one was a little bit smaller though, with some crystals here and there lighting up the cave. But there was a small lake inside, or a small pond, let's say, where many fishies were just jumping like crazy. Craving for some sunlight or just chilling right here, I don't know, but you can definitely tell that they wanted to get out of the pond as quick as possible, as some of them were already lying on the dry land. Anyways, after making my ultimate fishing guide, which you can find at the top right of the screen if you want to know everything about it, we found out that cold fishing bait was the only fishing bait that didn't really have a nice spot with unique fish. You could make this one with wolf trophies, also found inside the frost caves, and tuna. Some people claim to catch pikes with these a lot easier, while the cold fishing bait clearly says this bait doesn't look like much. But it's a tree to fish that live where it's cold and dark. And yes, you guessed it, the frost caves are cold and dark, so this would be the perfect bait for tetra fish. So that's exactly what we did. We made some of these bad boys and started fishing. And before we know it, we had 25 tetra fish from this very pond. In comparison with real life tetra fish, which are pretty shiny and usually found in aquaria, these looked pretty plain. I mean, they're silver-ish just like the tuna, don't have many colors. And big surprise, slightly disappointed as well, we found out that these bad boys actually don't unlock anything new in the game. So that means you can basically only use them as very expensive sushi in the game. So I would recommend just catch and release, just place them back in the pond as unfortunately these bad boys don't seem to respawn. So this is pretty bad news if you've already been looking for the Tetra fish for many hours or even days. But still, I think it's awesome that we actually have something extremely rare in the game, which is almost impossible to find, let's say. Only, of course, if you check out every single frost cave on a certain seat. But it's very possible that the generation of this specific cave with the right conditions, not frozen, but liquid water, doesn't happen on your world. So it's very important that you just check it out on a sea that actually does have the frost caves. And mine was found in the northeastern part of the sea. But I just want to share with you guys that it is possible to find tetra fish. It's not a legend. Or well, it is because it's just extremely rare to find these bad boys. And I just had so much fun to find these for real and once we finally did we decided to go on our multiplayer server and still to it ourselves of course clear these the legit way as we did use commands to check out every single cave on the sea because otherwise this hunt would have taken many more days if not weeks or maybe even months before you can even stumble upon one so definitely think twice before you start hunting for tetra fish as it's possible that they won't pop up on your seat this seed also has an island with all the different finished biomes which you can find in the game. It is the perfect island to make all the different types of farms and from meadows to mistlands you will find everything right here. Which is almost impossible by the way. But also certainly core farms, great war farms, you can search for dragons for ice cream. Do pretty much anything you want, anything you need in the game. And yeah, we found this island primarily to catch every single fish in the game. So this small island will also be your ultimate fishing retreat but then we also have the ice cave with the liquid water which i'm gonna share in the description with you guys when the video is done but yeah the word is out tetra fish is real and it's definitely gonna be a challenge to locate these bad boys let me know with the comments down below if you already found either a frozen lake cave or a liquid one these are extremely rare and I'm also very curious if you guys went on a hunt and eventually gave up on it because you just doubted it for its existence. I want to hear all the stories in the comments down below. I think it's going to be awesome to share it with each other. But um, that is it for today. 
If you enjoyed listening to this story or found it helpful to know what the chances are of actually finding one of these bad boys yourself, definitely make sure to hit that like button as it helps out the channel. And yes, there are more fishing videos coming very soon as I just really love fishing in Valheim. There is so much to explore and I can't wait to share the ultimate seed with you guys tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned. Right now though, it is 4am out. I want to wish you an awesome day and good luck on your quest to find the Tetra. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.